Hey guys, what is going on? I'll tell you what, I got a lot going on. So much sometimes that I don't uh, know what's going on myself. I'm like filming episodes. I've got things happening that have to be filmed in bits, bits and pieces. I've got junk guitars going together. I've got uh, stuff that's going to be stained. We're going to be using some stains that are made out of stuff you'd never even think about using. I've got uh, a kit guitar going on. There's going to be a finish on that that you just won't, you won't even believe. I mean, I've come off with some crazy stuff, but you just will not believe it. So I'm kind of going through my shop right now and getting things set up. I'm having to move a lot of things around. I'm trying to get shots from over the bench, on top of the bench, something that will move around. Get a guitar vice set up. I got uh, anvil crates from Hollywood stuff and I'm trying to put all this kind of stuff together and um, along the way I'm looking at all my stuff and it just hit me you know what I can't believe I'm doing this and um, well y'all remember your first guitar and what possessed you to make it and then then, especially for you guys that don't play, a high point is when somebody comes along and will play your guitar and you're like, wow, that is the most awesome thing I've ever heard. So, when you're doing this, you're not an island. Um, there's a lot of people that will help you along the way. We all get hints from each other and, and you get a luthier here and there that when they're done laughing at you, they might give you a little pointer and stuff. And, and I've been really fortunate that way. Now, when it comes to moving into the world of real guitars and especially like junk arch tops, I build junk arch tops because face it, they're junk. I can't mess them up. Um, but these guitars got to come from somewhere. And typically, um, the market is such that somebody will find one in an attic. They'll jump on the internet and figure out I can sell this for $300. And, and I've given you guys enough um, episodes about arch tops and cheap arch tops and I'll give you uh, a link right up come on guys you gotta you gotta get in the, you, I don't want to have to have the production crew waiting on you I'm going to give you the primer on cheap arch tops right up there right about now but anyway there is somebody that has been really good to me and you y'all know this guitar right the Texas junk pile this thing was sitting in a, sh in a window in a guitar store drying out, completely stripped down. I never really did like the Florentine cutaway too much on this. And the color, I didn't like it that much, but it kind of grew on me. Anyway, I built this thing out. Near as I can tell, it's a, it's a pretty good knockoff from the 60s uh, of a ES-175 Gibson. So I put this together. And the guy I got it from has given me pretty good deals on a bunch of stuff that will come to his shop. I, he knows I'm looking for it. He'll pick this stuff up and then he'll let me know, hey, I got something for you. So I'll trade him something or other. But anyway, the day come where I walked in there and I saw this guitar that was just trashed. And um, probably the worst guitar I'd seen next to the hobo junk pile, which I'll give you an episode. Remember the Psychic? Remember the Greyhound bus? Remember, I don't even know. It, that seems like an alternate universe. Anyway, uh, hobo junk pile up there. But next to the hobo junk pile, this is the worst guitar I had ever seen. And it was sitting in the window. So I asked it the question, like, what's up with that? And the guy said, that was my first guitar. And he told me the story. So, I got it from him. I was worried that the neck was going to break off because I knew I had to pull off the fretboard and do some things there. I knew I might crack the body, so I got into it for a little bit of money so I could say it was mine if I messed it up, but the whole time I knew that it was going to come back. So, uh, I'm going to give you a look at this guitar. It was an Ibanez Jamboree, which is a knockoff of the mid-60s of it. Gibson Hummingbird and it was tore up from the floor up. I'm going to give you a quick look at what that guitar looked like when I got it. Okay guys, we're going to do a before of this guitar uh, and you'll see that 
after later so before but before we do that I kind of want to show you we'll cheat a little bit here this is what this guitar would have looked like when it was new of course the front Um, I'm going to give you a link showing up right up there right about now of a full build. What happened to that guitar start to finish so you can watch it by clicking up there. When you float your mouse up there, whatever you're using, and you see that eye pop up, it's going to give you a list of stuff. And it's a long video, but it goes from start to finish what it looked like when it got pulled out of the window, all dried out and ready for the fireplace, and what it turned to in the end. Anyway, when I was done with it, I took it back to the guy I got it from. It was his first guitar. And let's have a look right now at him opening up the case and what that day looked like. And it will remind you why we do what we do and how fortunate we are to have good people helping us out along the way. So let's go see Rob from Guitar 48. I'm going to give you a link below, Guitar 48. Stay out of there, the stuff that you want is mine but other than that this is a touching story it's one of them times where if you're in the doghouse and somebody's on you why you do this way show them this one that's why you do it okay let's go talk to rob you ready oh that's crazy that is so crazy oh, oh quebec you found a quebec license plate <laughs> holy moly <laughs> oh that is so cool look at oh look at this oh my Oh, that is amazing. That's that cool. is amazing. It's almost top of, top of lot. That is incredible, man. Faded sunburst. Look at that. Look it's, at that. It's just sick. That is amazing. You kept the label. Ah. That is beautiful, man. That's your best work to date. <laughs> this is my first guitar. I bought this for fifty dollars from Andy wow. Larson. Oh my god! Yeah, it was also my first Luthery project. I didn't do as good a job as uh, as Ken did. That is amazing. You see this? No. Canadian nickel. That is incredible. <laughs> Look at the knobs. Did it have That's a? So uh, beautiful. Did it have a pickup on it? No. Yeah, this was a, this. He did. He, I don't think he could have turned that into anything better than this ever. So you got to sell me this one. Look at this. Does it have a name? Yeah, Ronnie. Ronnie, because it looks like it looked like Ronnie McDonald. <laughs> this has got. We got to plug her in, and we're gonna plug it in.
killer, man. There's a, that's the like the uh, coup de gras. And uh, this is Tammy's signature. Tammy's signature. See, I'm just seeing all these features coming at me, you know. Good job, Tammy. <laughs> Tammy, you want to play it? Want to show them how to play it? Yeah, show me how to play it. Come sit down over here. Go ahead, baby. She's left-handed. Oh, you're left-handed. Okay. Here, baby. She plays it left-handed, upside down? Mm-hmm. Here, Tam. No pick? No. No pick. Okay. points of me doing what I do, um, give back people, uh, give an instrument to a school, help a kid out. Um, you could see Tammy was all happy and proud of herself in there, and that's why we do this. So if you haven't given me a like before, you're just pl flat out sinful if you don't now. Give me a like, subscribe if you haven't. Like I said, we got some cool stuff coming up. We're going to use some exotic woods. We're going to make some stains out of stuff you won't believe. Uh, I'll show you how to do it. And now we're going to build a kit guitar that looks like the Gibson ES-175 knockoff, uh, the Texas junk pile. And we're going to be really critical about what this thing is, how the quality, uh, how to finish it, how to put it together, how to individualize it. And we're just going to be no holds barred. This thing is either a junk or it's not, and the measure will be the Texas junk pile. So, hey. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to do what I asked you to do below. And always check out the resources center below because there will be something in there for you. So, hey, Rob, thanks. Um, I ended up getting some really nice guitars and trade out of that deal. But thanks again, Rob. You're the best. I'll see you all soon.